Good morning, freeze dryers. Welcome back to Live Life Simple Kitchen. Today we're gonna make my favorite new spice and possibly your favorite new spice. We're gonna make some pickle powder today out of some kosher dill pickles. This stuff goes a long ways, a little dab will do ya. It's super easy to make and it's, uh, it's useful for all kinds of different stuff. So let's get into it. We've been using this pickle powder on all kinds of things, but popcorn is probably our favorite thing. But you can also use it on sandwiches, you can put it on bagels, you can use it in dips. Really just whatever you like, that dill pickle flavor. Uh, it doesn't take very much and it, uh, it powders down into a, a nice powder if you run it through the food processor. So what we're gonna do first to get rid of the super, super saltiness and also the, uh, the extra vinegar in these pickles is we're gonna rinse them thoroughly. And vinegar is somewhat of a hot topic in our Facebook groups and our other social media groups. I don't really have a strong opinion on it either way. I don't know, uh, I think that a lot of people think that vinegar is gonna, to, they're gonna thin your oil in your vacuum pump and uh, cause potential problems. And obviously pickles are very heavy on the vinegar. A lot of the vinegar is gonna be what is in the jar, which is why we're draining them off. Uh, also to get rid of the, the saltiness of the pickle. Otherwise they're almost so powerful that you can't stand them. But I'll let you form your own opinions on vinegar, whether or not you want to run vinegar through your vacuum pump. And if you decide that it's okay and you wanna keep making the pickle powder, you just need to rinse these pickles thoroughly. And then we're gonna use our old friend, the Vitamix, if you have one. If you don't, use a high-powered blender. I'm just gonna throw these in whole, and I was actually getting ready to chop these up, and then I just kind of had a, a realization that there's really no, no need to. Um, if you can't get them all the way chopped down into a, a liquid, even if it's chunks or whatever, we can throw this through a food processor after we're, after we're done freeze drying, and we should be able to make a nice powder out of it. So you may need to add some water just to get it started. Once that first one gets going though, it'll uh, loosen up the rest of the pickles. And I started out with two of these 46 ounce jars of pickles. We'll see how far that gets us. I think it's probably going to fill up at least a couple of trays. This is going on to a medium freeze dryer tray, which is six cups of liquid uh, if you fill it to the brim. And it looks like actually that's probably just about right for one tray. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Two 46 ounce uh, jars of pickles. And just being a gardener and we've made our own pickles before, this is a great way to get rid or uh, do something with all of those extra cucumbers at the end of gardening season. Make some pickles or make some pickle powder. And for this third jar, I'm gonna do a half tray, but I'm gonna add one tablespoon of garlic. And then for me, I'm gonna add four to six tablespoons of sriracha. And now we have spicy garlic pickle powder. And I'm not gonna pretend this is some potent pickle powder. And that is all there is to it. I'm gonna put this in the deep freeze. We're gonna freeze this for about 24 hours. I like to get liquids completely frozen before we go into the freeze dryer. We'll let this do, this, uh, do its thing overnight. Put it in the freeze dryer tomorrow and I will meet you in the freeze drying room. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle powder. Peter Piper pecked a pick. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle powder. And our pickle powder is ready to go in the freeze dryer. This recipe, along with almost 300 other recipes, can be found at the freeze drying cookbook. Com. You can also pick up a hard copy freeze drying cookbook and now the new freeze drying handbook. Make sure you take a second to subscribe to Live Life Simple. We do mostly freeze drying on this channel. If you like what we're doing, make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified every Sunday at 8 a.m. when a new video comes out, make sure you click that bell. The accessories that you've seen in this video and possibly other videos can be found at freezedryingsupplies.com. And that's all thanks to our Harvest Right affiliate. If you're thinking about purchasing a freeze dryer or you wanna check out some specs and pricing and things on the freeze dryer, please use our affiliate link. It can be found down in the description and that helps us develop new products for freeze drying. It also helps us do giveaways in our freeze drying groups uh, for social media. We have a Facebook group Group and a MeWe group. It's retired at 40s freeze drying group. And currently we have over 80,000
20,000 members, so any question you have can get answered in there. Use the search function with this magnifying glass. You can find any keyword or any member or any topic you can imagine. And I think our freeze dried pickle powder is almost done. So ideally I can provide some pickle powder for my popcorn. So let's proceed. Pickle powder took 31 hours. It was mixed with some kale powder as well. So both of them pretty wet stuff. And you can see there is a whole lot of ice in that drum. Pickle powder on the left has our sriracha and garlic in it. And the pickle powder on the right is just pickles that were uh, blended together. And the key to any powder is powdering it into a fine powder, which means it needs to run through a food processor. And if you're a non-believer in parchment, check that out. That would have been stuck to the tray and you never would have gotten it out without making a huge mess or losing half, to, half of it onto the tray. So far, I have found a couple things interesting. The plain pickle powder is a lot softer. It falls apart a lot easier. It also has these big white spots. I'm assuming that is salt. <laughs> Makes a super fine powder. We got some fresh popped popcorn. I'm gonna do one with the regular dill pickle, one with a spicy dill pickle. And uh, I think that a little bit will go a long ways. So there's the spicy. It's a little bit more orange in color because of the sriracha. And then here is the regular dill pickle. I'm gonna add just about half of a spoonful, I think. And this stuff <coughs> will make you cough, especially, <coughs> <coughs> especially the sriracha. After it's coated, I'm just gonna shake it so it kind of all gets stirred into the mix. And as a side note, I think that if you didn't mind salty popcorn, you could skip washing the pickles before you actually powdered them. I think that that would actually make it go a little bit farther if you want a little extra mileage out of the pickles. And with that said, you could probably put the, uh, the liquid from the jar in there as well. I know some people do not like running vinegar through their vacuum pumps. I personally don't really use a whole lot of uh, super vinegary things, so I'm not really concerned about it. That doesn't mean that it, it shouldn't be a concern of yours. Do your research before you do this, um, but let's give this a taste test. All right, here goes the regular dill pickle. That's good stuff. It's not salty, which is surprising because when I've, when I've freeze dried pickles before, they're extremely salty. So you could actually just skip the washing. I think that I would add, add some salt if you like salty popcorn. Next, let's try our sriracha. Well, just like any spicy freeze-dried powder, it goes straight up the sinuses. That's not to say that this is not really good though. I actually enjoy the sriracha in there. Spicy pickle popcorn, maybe that's a new trend. So in conclusion, unless you're salt sensitive, I would probably skip washing the pickles actually. I think that it would actually add more flavor. Uh, and actually add more saltiness and the popcorn flavor that you're used to. If you're using it for something else like a dip or for an egg salad sandwich or something like that, you might wanna skip the salty part of it and actually wash the pickles. Popcorn is awesome, either way you do it. Uh, I like both the spicy and the regular, but both of these are really tasty. If you like the content we provided to you today, make sure you let us know. Give us a thumbs up, please. And uh, in the meantime, remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.